Welcome everyone, I'm Joan Kerber Walker and we are thrilled to be talking about talent and human resources today and most importantly, the opportunity of new programs from AZ Bio and ADP via Bio Business Solutions so that you can value and protect that precious talent. So I'd like to introduce my um, partner at Bio Business Solutions, um, Pete. And Pete, would you please introduce our speakers and also um, tell everybody a little bit about Bio Business Solutions? Yeah, thank you very much, Joan. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Peter Fry. I'm the Vice President of Business Development for Bio and the Bio Business Solutions. Our Bio Business Solutions program is offered to the members of Arizona Bio as a member benefit. There's no additional cost to use these programs. In many cases, these will be programs that will provide better pricing terms and conditions than you'd be able to negotiate on your own. We're excited today to talk about our newest program with ADP. Uh, after a year-long RFI, RFP process, Buy on the Bio Business Solutions chose ADP uh, specifically for its value and its significant uh, expertise in the area of payroll, benefits, HR, investments, and other HR services. Uh, today, we have uh, Leah Anderson of ADP uh, from the marketing team and Aaron McCauley, senior district manager, uh, that will be driving the program. So again, I'm really excited about this. We have heard from the field over the last numerous years about this is something that was really needed. Uh, we heard uh, from you and took this very seriously and thus we believe have delivered a product and service with our ADP e partnership through Arizona Bio that will be relevant and important uh, to the operations uh, of the AZ Bio members. So with that in mind, I'm gonna turn it over to Leah Anderson of ADP. Thank you so much, Pete. Thanks guys, we are so excited to be here. I am going to share a deck um, to give some insight and to share some more information into who we are and what we do. As Pete mentioned, we went through a long um, process to really get to know each other. And I have to tell you, you know, as a senior director of channels, I work with these types of partnerships all the time. But this particular partnership is so special because members in industries like yours are, are truly changing the world. And with a partnership with ADP, you have the ability to take all of the additional headache that goes along with running a business out of the way so that you can stay really laser focused on innovating. And so today, my partner, Aaron, who, who Pete had mentioned is the senior district manager, he actually sits in Arizona, so you guys are neighbors. He is going to, along with me, we're gonna walk through a little bit of an introduction into what's going on in the marketplace. I'm sure a lot of things that you're already feeling and seeing and how ADP can help. We'll take a deep dive into our PEO solution and how that's really supported businesses in the life science industry. And then of course, as Joan had mentioned, if you guys have questions, please don't hesitate to pop them in the chat. We'll monitor that and try to ask it, um, answer those questions during. So when I talk about what's happening in the marketplace today and why this partnership is so incredibly relevant, and I'll share some statistics on the screen here where we talk about, you know, the number of unemployed persons per job opening is at the lowest point it's been since they've been recording these numbers, right? With not even one person per job available. And then the job open rates, how many jobs are actually out there are higher than they've ever been. And then you, you add on to that, that there are more people quitting their jobs than ever before. You, you turn on the news, you hear about the great resignation. You know that you're feeling this within your organizations. And for our, our clients in the life science industry, oh, my Siri had something to say about that. Um, for our clients in the life science industry, it's especially painful because turnover is expensive. Turnover is exhausting. But when we think about your employees who are highly skilled, who has, have a really specific skill set and, and really incredible expertise, it becomes even more exhausting to replace those employees, harder to find new qualified employees, and really just expensive. So the solutions that we look at, we look at ways to help to find and keep great talent so that this... Um, we can help you to curb some of, of what we're seeing out there in terms of the great resignation. 
we have a few trends that we really identified that we see businesses facing in 2022. All of this obviously spurred by what happened with the pandemic and work for home. So when you talk about employee visibility being redefined, it's no longer that your employees are constantly in the office. That's good and bad, right? We hear that there's a lot of employee satisfaction from being able to work from home. Maybe you have somebody in additional states, so it allows you to have more opportunity to find and keep great talent outside of where you may have looked before. But that also makes it difficult because you have to find new ways to highlight your employees' successes, to get people to feel connected. And that leads to another trend, people and purpose will drive the workplace. Employees want to know that they're working for an organization that cares not only about their employees, but that has a, has a really clear mission that's out to change the world. They want to know that they're working for a business who really is driving change in the world and they want to understand their purpose, right? And then with more people working in different places and, and you know people more spread out, there's this deep need for reliable data not only so that your employees can do their job better, data that relates to your industry and what you're driving, but also when it comes down to what employees want in terms of benefit data, where, you know, if you have somebody sitting in Arizona, their benefit's going to be different than somebody who's sitting in California. You know, their cost of living is different. There's going to be different things that need to be taken in consideration. And so data is going to be more important than ever. And then, you know, even when we turned on this, this presentation, we're talking about our different interfaces, whether it's WebEx or Zoom, right? And so we talk about innovation accelerating growth. And so the way that we've been able to adapt and the way that we've been able to innovate and the different resources that we're leveraging, not only does that help you to grow your business, but it helps your employees to feel more connected. It helps to drive more employee satisfaction. And it's uh, not always easy when you're laser focused on your reason you got into business, the areas that you're so talented, it's not always easy to focus on the other ways to drive employee engagement, right? So that brings us to how ADP is able to support businesses today. And we're going to talk a lot about our PEO, professional employer organization, and that model. Because today, when we look at the way that you're running your business, you're responsible for not only, you know, your business, like what's growing and, and driving revenue, but you're also responsible to become some of a vendor manager, right? You've got human resources, payroll management, benefits administration, 401k, workers comp, and everything that goes along with that. And then this constantly changing environment, if you have employees in different states, the rules and regulations are different for the employees in different states. And you've got to become now a compliance expert with all things that are included there. And it becomes incredible incredibly cumbersome and really labor intensive. And so all of these things are now also on your plate on top of trying to grow your business. But through our partnership and through our relationship, there's a really exciting way to streamline all of that so that you can focus on why you got into business in the first place, your revenue generating activities, and allow ADP to focus on the things that we are really, really good at to help to clear that off your plate so that you can stay really focused on innovation. And I am gonna turn it over to Erin to talk to you a little bit more about what that looks like and how, how that can feel within your organization. Thanks, Leah. Um, hey guys, it's, it's really great to meet you all. My name's Erin McCauley. I've been with ADP now for six years. Um, and I happen to be one of the few Arizona natives that are that are still around. I grew up in Flagstaff. I moved down to Phoenix and went to college at Arizona State, and then since have been living in the Valley. So now I live in Arcadia, and that's I'm working from home today, and I split between working from home and our beautiful office down in Tempe on Tempe Town Lake. So know the market well, um, know Arizona very well. And I'm really passionate about working with organizations that um, are scaling and are trying to create more of their genius and get it out to the world and helping them connect the dots when it comes to talent, right? Helping them find talent, 
helping them develop talent and making sure the good ones are staying and the ones that need improvement are getting the help that they need and the managers are getting the support that they need to develop strong growing companies, especially in my home state of Arizona. So when looking at, um, as Leah said, we'll, we'll spend a lot of our time today talking about ADP Total Source, which is our PEO platform. However, we will talk about some of the other models in ways that we're supporting um, the bio space in terms of smaller organizations that are looking to grow and talk about different ways that we can support them outside of just the PEO. However, we are seeing a lot of data that um, Total Source is really helping a lot of organizations, especially that are small and looking for some incubation to be able to grow and have the leverage of bigger business. And one of the main reasons is the size, right? So when you think of ADP Total Source, to let you guys know what it is if you don't really have an introduction into a PEO. What a PEO does is let's a small organization get the resources of a Fortune 500 caliber company without having to grow and you know hire 700,000 people. So what we do is we take a collection of 14,000 clients and 600,000 worksite employees and deliver that back to our small businesses to deliver economies of scale. So when you think of um, the private sector in the United States, the third largest companies out there goes Walmart, Amazon, and then you have ADP Total Source. So we're able to provide the technology, the data and expertise, the um, human resources, and also the thing that can be really expensive to the labor cost for um, employers is those comprehensive benefit packages. And we'll talk about that more in a second. Leah, can you go on to the next slide? One thing that we definitely wanted to point out is we are a CPEO, which means that we are accredited by the IRS. And a couple of things that make that really important for our um, for you guys, right? Um, number one, there's tax restart eliminations. So any federal taxes that an organization has paid throughout the year will not restart coming over to a PEO. Um, but the big thing comes into um, number five, where you're looking at customer eligibility for tax credits. So um, work opportunity tax credits, um, and research and development tax credits are probably the biggest ones that we see in your guys' space. So when you're thinking the R&D tax credits that you guys are investing into these new products and labor allocation and resources, we can not only make sure that you keep it, but also give more resources to help you guys get those and get the most value there for them. Okay, Leah. So a couple thoughts on why um, organizations really look into partnering with the PEO as we talked about some of this earlier. We've seen the most growth over the last couple of years when there is chaos, right? You know, in the 08 recession, a lot of companies navigated to the PEO as well as during the COVID crisis because there's so much that falls onto an organization's plate, as I'm sure you guys know, outside of just you know, making the product and doing the research and delivering it and, and getting the grants and all that. There's the challenges that come with employees and the burden of them. So what we can do is, you know, provide the benefits to make sure that the employees are being attracted, but also safe and taken care of and valued, minimizing the risk through the co-employment nature that if there are challenges with the benefits or with workers' comp or employment-related um, factors of EPLI, we are handling that through our administration and taking that completely off your plate um, and backing it up financially so you guys are focusing primarily on the new products and, and everything that the organization is focused on. Um, minimize time spent when it comes to HR tasks and also gain um, in gain HR expertise to be able to, you know, attract talent, improve the employee experience, and also empower the executive team to have full ownership of the people function. Okay, Leah, can you go please? So when we're looking at, you know, what comes and what is a part of the HR spectrum, there's 
everything from hire to retire, right? And an organization really has two paths of how to achieve this, either build it or you buy it, right? And so building it is going to take finding the um, expertise and the staff and the HR, um, uh, I would say the HR expertise of, of staff members to be able to build programs that are going to help the um, organization um, find the talent, develop it, correct pay, giving raises, you know, coaching the employees, managing talent, engaging talent, workforce management, and then exiting talent, either out of the organization or succession management. And that is a lot that can really fall onto a, the plate of a, um, you know, entrepreneur aspect minded organization. So what ADP can do is take a majority off that off of your plate and also coach up the team members that you guys have to make it a world class um, HR experience for everybody involved. Okay, Leah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to skip this one. So um, as we were talking about, the PEO is not the only opportunity in terms of working with ADP. And that's where we um, we really hang our hat is that we're going to be very client centric, right? So ADP, I'm sure you guys know us for the 70 years that we've been the industry leader when it comes to payroll management, and we still are. So for a, you know, we look at Olivia here, which is the owner of a small biotech firm that, you know, might only have one or two employees and really is just looking to collect simple payroll, um, get the employees paid, direct deposit, making sure that the tax and money movements done, a background check here and there, we absolutely have you guys covered. Um, then you look over to Megan, owner of a medical device firm. She's going to need the payroll, um, but she also wants to start offering some basic, uh, you know, 401k, um, she wants still the tax piece, but she also needs some labor allocation. So we're going to track some of the timekeeping for her and be able to put that into job costing needs. Um, and then you look at Christine, who's an office manager of a pharmaceutical firm that's going to be, you know, a little bit bigger in size. And as companies grow, there's more and more HR burden. So she wants to outsource a lot of the time when it comes to the payroll task and also be able to get um, some HR support and one-to-one -one contact when understanding how to handle disciplinary actions, how to interview, how to lead successfully when it comes to some of the soft skills that comes with management, and also to be able to provide comprehensive benefits. So we can broker that out and look as a way to um, be a outsourced resource for Christine. And then you look at Ethan, you know, HR manager at a biotech firm. This company is growing, this company is scaling, and they need everything. They want to make sure that their company is protected and they're getting um, a world-class experience for their employees. So outsource the time-consuming minutia that comes with, you know, the tactical stuff of HR and payroll. Um, lean on a outsourced HR team to be able to provide HR partnership. So you'll see that Ethan is still the HR manager. So we're not completely replacing the HR space. What we're going to do is enhance it and make it stronger and make it better. Um, and then provo provide that Fortune 500 caliber benefits. So when you're thinking of, you know, we have six, 700,000 people that are in our um, employee pool and we underwrite very heavily. Um, so now we have, instead of going out to market with health insurance and trying to get quotes and um, plans for a group of, call it 10 to 15 lives, we're now doing that with 600,000. So think of um, strong economies of scale. So um, being able to, almost like Costco, right, um, really rich plans at less of a cost. And then if you think about it year over year over year over year, our renewals tend to be about half of what the open market is because of our size. So um, we're going to work with these carriers. We're going to work with data and um, also to make sure that the employees are in the best spot and you're um, insulating every, you're insulating the plans by getting more and more people enrolled to make sure renewals stay down and stable to protect your cost of labor year over year. 
We also mitigate the risk when it comes to um, anything employment related. So as you look at this scale, the um, more that an organization outsources is the less infrastructure that the company needs internally. Um, okay, Leah. So when looking at the, the full spectrum, right, of total source and the solutions that it provides, everything from talent management and acquisition, so working with you guys to create um, a career page and potentially being a um, headhunter to help find um, employees in specific needs, um, the John job posting interviews, depending on where the client needs in terms of support, we'll fill that in. Being able to give business insights. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar or not, but ADP pays about 30 million Americans. So one in five of the workforce gets their paycheck through ADP. And that means that we have a ton of data on the workforce, marketplace trends, pay compensation, benefits, plans, types, and what the market and millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, baby boomers, what they're all expecting and what they're all needing. And we can deliver that back in a comprehensive model through the technology platform, as well as through that HR support of what you're going to get, which we'll talk in a second. And all the payroll, HR, taxes, and make sure that everything is compliant. And if there are any issues with any of that, that comes back on us. Um, we've talked about the benefits and, and compensation. It's more than just being able to offer a health insurance plan. You know, now as the Gen Z millennials are coming in and there's less, um, you know, my generation, there's more of a need for um, different types of benefits, right? And they want different things, especially on the voluntary side and maybe more in towards the 401k, maybe pet insurance and looking at the demographics of the group to think of new ideas to make sure that everybody is happy and engaged. We'll handle all the risk and compliance, and then you guys will get a outsourced um, HR team, which if we go to the next slide, we'll talk about here in a second. I haven't seen any um, questions in the chat, but if anybody does have any questions, please stop me. So in terms of the dedicated ADP team that you guys would get on the total source platform, right? Um, this will be, you know, data and expertise is really what would be the benefit of, of a client coming to this space. So you'll get one-to-one -one contact in terms of an account manager. So an HR business partner, and that person is going to be SHRM qualified in ongoing education when it comes to HR business and trends. Probably going to have about 10 to 15 years experience in the open market leading similar type organizations and understanding the challenges when it comes to HR and be able to consult and guide your organization. If there ever is a time that they're not available in you know, meetings with other organizations, other clients, they'll be a direct connect team. So that is going to be a team of HR business partners pretty much for just designed for overflow. So whenever you guys need them, you'll be able to get that support. Um, with your HR business partner, you're gonna have direct contact. So cell phone, email, um, and chat functions as well. You'll have a payroll advisor. So being able to help you guys make sure that the labor allocations are tracked. I know that grants are gonna be very important and being able to track the labor to the right code and make sure everything's in the right spot. So you'll have somebody there to be able to make sure that you're covered. Um, a My Life Advisor team can be extremely important in terms of taking a lot of the heavy lift of HR off of your plate. So the on the left will really be the HR team for the, the company. But then the My Life Advisor team is going to be a team for all of the employees. So a number that they can call in and, you know, if they have questions about their benefits, they need to make a life change, they got locked out of their technology, they don't know their password, any of those, we can outsource that to somebody that can get those answers right away. I think there's about 300 members of that team nationally, and the call wait time is about 20 seconds on average. 
and 92% of those calls get handled on the first, the first dial. You'll have a benefit team that's going to work with your HR business partner every single year to make sure your comprehensive benefit um, package is in line and deliver presentations, make sure that the employees are educated and know exactly what the organization is delivering to them. You know, we want to make sure that there's an ROI from, from this benefit package. And then you'll have a risk and safety consultant. Um, that person is going to be dedicated to you to make sure that if there was, was any workplace injuries, we got your back in terms of claims management, but also coming in and auditing, right? And making sure there's nothing that can hurt the employees and could potentially cause fines for the organization. So proactively and reactively, we have your back. Okay, Lisa, or sorry, Leah. Um, I talked about the, um, the data and expertise that ADP has, right, and, and 30 million Americans that are paid. So what we'll provide to you guys in going through an evaluation with ADP is looking at a free benchmark report. So what we're able to do is take a look at some of the key metrics of the organization when it comes to talent, when it comes to turnover, time to hire, um, medical benefits, average wage, and um, match that up against not only the Arizona market, national market, your industry as well, and deliver a benchmark report to see how the organization is faring and if there are places that um, recommendations could be made to be able to give you guys a leg up in the, the talent challenge and being able to onboard talent as fast and sustainably as possible. Okay, Leah. So we're, um, we're really thrilled about this opportunity and to be a part of this team um, and to work with, with you all. So we do have a, um, a really cool promotion that we're starting. So for, to celebrate the new partnership that um, if any of you go through an evaluation with Total Source and start it in the month of May, then you guys will be eligible for months one through three being waived of the admin fees. Um, this is for groups with 10 employees or more, and you'll also receive the benchmark report. So um, would love to be able to deliver some data back to you. And, you know, if it was a win-win a situation and worked, in which it worked out to um, partner with Total Source, you'll get um, the first three months waived. Wonderful. Well, that's what we have today to go over. Um, we definitely love to open it up and answer some questions and, and talk through um, some of the challenges that you guys might be facing from the talent side. That was terrific. Thank you so much, Erin. And Lee, if you want to um, unshare this screen, I'll bring you and Pete back on too. All right, the gang is back. Um, so great presentation, and um, since we've been pushing information about this program out now, um, since Bio gave us a sneak peek on it, um, we wanted, I've been kind of keeping my list of questions that I've been getting from members. Um, and one of the first questions, so Erin, you talked about that special promotion is for companies that have 10 employees. So. Does that mean that um, you can only use this program if you have 10 or more employees? Really good question. No, we have, um, if an organization does have less than 10 employees, um, we have an, um, a product called Total Source Prime that is specifically designed for organizations with less than 10 employees to be able to still um, dive in and get the full outsourced PEO model. Well, that's important because AZ Bio doesn't have 10 employees. Yeah, so, so uh, we'll definitely talk to you about um, Total Source Prime. All right. <laughs> and so, um, you know, with PEOs, so how does – most people think about the, the transition to a PEO for, because of health insurance, because health insurance has been such a big challenge. And as you've shown us today, PEOs are more than just getting group health insurance benefits. Um, what are some of the other benefits that employees can tap into 
um, from the, the PEO portfolio? Yeah, so that's a really good question. There's a lot of benefits that the employees are going to get in terms of the comprehensive benefit package, right? So you got like the health insurance, the 401k, the dental, the vision, long-term, short-term, um, there's an EAP program that they're going to get. So free counseling for everybody. Um, the big, I guess what I would say, the big um, benefit that the employees are going to get is really the resources and the feel of working for a, um, a Fortune 500 caliber company. So what I can say to that is like there's the health advocates team. So health insurance is great and those programs are good, but having the resources on the back end. So we have, and we'll deliver to all of the employees, a health advocate team, and that's designed for health insurance related needs. So concierge red carpet service, that if there was ever invoice challenges or they need help to get into a specialist or they got a scary diagnosis and they need help understanding that, they have that team of support. So it happened to me once that I got an MRI and I was charged about $2,000 more than I was supposed to be charged. So I called the healthcare advocate team, sent them my invoice. I was on the phone for, with them for five minutes and within 48 hours, I got my invoice down to exactly what it was supposed to be. And once I like felt that and experienced that, I was like, man, this company is really taking care of me. Um, the other piece is the technology platforms to be able to manage their work-life balance, right? Um, and also the HR resources and the training that the organization is going to get to build up the culture, build up the managers, and improve the employee experience, right? So when they're, it's the, the soft skills that the rest of the organization is going to get, that the employees are now going to feel more engaged and happier at work is probably the, the biggest impact to the employee level. Great. And, you know, but health insurance is important. So one of the big questions yeah. that always comes out and PEO has got a, a bad rap, you know, about a decade ago um, yeah. because they got self-selected, right? So you had all of the people that had lots of health problems going over the PEO um, one of the big advantages of ADP is your employee base is so big that it, it protects the employees somewhat from that self-selection. How good really is this insurance? Yeah. Um, so they're, all PEOs are not created the same. Um, and I know that Bio went through this you know, we went through a, a year long discovery and I think Peter can attest that all POs are, are not created the same. And that's why we're here, right? Um, there are some that self fund, right? And what that means is they're gonna pretty much let anybody in the group and the risk is going to be muddied. Um, ADP does not do that. So we've only grown organically from one group all the way up to 600,000. What that means is every single group that has been brought in is heavily underwritten. So my job in terms of sales would be a lot easier if our underwriters weren't as strict and as hard as they are, but they're very diligent in what they're doing. And so I think it's like we decline quite a few groups because we're taking a look at how they are actually performing from the health insurance spectrum. And so as we're doing that and bringing on one group at a time, one group at a time and heavily underwriting and knowing exactly what's in our pool, our stability year over year is very strong. And to give you an understanding where the rubber meets the road, we have a base renewal this last year from United Healthcare. So looking at the entire population and we give them one base renewal and then we look at each of the groups individually, that renewal from United Healthcare was 0%. So it was flat. Now, every, does that happen every year? No. Um, but since I've had my time with ADP, we haven't had a base renewal over 10%. So when you're looking at that um, year over year compound interest on keeping those renewals stable and low, that's where there's a huge stability to a, a growing organization. Great, thank you. So Pete, 
And let's go just a little bit deeper. So, I mean, Bio Business Solutions, AZ Bio members, you know, last year saved over $4 million on the various Bio Business Solutions programs. Um, but, but this one, there's, you know, all of these great benefits. Is there cost savings too? Yeah, there are. And, uh, you know, um, Aaron made a really good point. Not all PEOs are created equal. Uh, doing our due diligence, we found that ADP provided the flexibility. I think you heard that from today, whether it's just payroll, whether it's the full suite. So flexibility uh, programs and not just trying to, you know, fit one size fits all was probably one of the key factors. There are also some discounts that we negotiated uh, on members' behalfs uh, around administrative fees and some other th- other fees. And then, and again, Aaron's point of uh, with the full PEO program, you get to procure like you're a Fortune 500 company. You may have 12 or 15 people. Normally, you're not going to get the kind of rates a Fortune 500 company is unless you're on this program. So between the flexibility that ADP provided, the brand recognition, the options available, and the discounts available, um, on top of which Aaron just mentioned here for the first, you know, in May, if you if you take a look and engage, first three months of admission, admin fees for free and the benchmarking report free. So on, even on top of an already great program, some additional discounts. So we believe they absolutely were far and away, head and shoulders above the competition. Again, this was well over a year RFP, RFI process, and um, we're happy that uh, we were partnered with them. And, and we've been hearing from members throughout the U.S., Arizona, and you know, throughout the U.S., that this is something that people want, and uh, we're excited about having it uh, available now uh, to launch. So, uh, And I've been one of those people. So <laughs> um, basically, the, you know, the conversations, and many of you know, I've been with AZ Bio now for more than a decade and a member of the Council of State Bioscience Associations. And we have been very loud about the fact that we need programs like this. So, um, but one of the questions that's also come up is, well, I already use ADP. So do I get some of these benefits just like everybody else? Or am I locked out because I was already a customer? So how the program does work is if you, let's say, for example, today, you're just, you're just using payroll, right? If you have an existing agreement with them and payroll, that, you have an agreement with them. So this would be for incremental business. So if you're not using 401k, you're not using health benefits, you're not using HR services, those are all available to you. Or if you go to the full PEO, not just payroll, that's available to you too. So again, there's opportunities. Um, I believe for everyone here uh, to take a look at. And again, it's nice to have Aaron local, uh, a very senior person. Uh, ADP was very um, kind in giving bio and our state affiliates, six very senior folks to support this program, including Leah uh, as the senior district channel manager to help support this program. So we, we believe we've got something that will be of value. We, we're just looking for folks to, to give Aaron uh, the opportunity to, to talk about it. So um, thank you, Pete. And as we look at, you know, these programs going forward, um, let's say that I am already with another PEO or I've got my payroll services with another company. What's the process for for doing that evaluation? How do you get that data? Aaron, I'll let you answer that question. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, Peter, if uh, see how much uh, you've retained so far. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, smart enough to let you answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, so when you're looking at the evaluation, we are going to, we underwrite an organization from three different perspectives, right? So number one will be from the health insurance side. So we do need to collect some data um, in terms of census, um, most recent renewal, an invoice, and um, the summary plan descriptions. So when we're looking at that, we're not trying to look at fees and undercut costs by any means. What our underwriting team is doing is taking a look at the census, mat- matching up those employees to the ones that are on the invoice, making sure that there's connection, and then they're taking those invoice rates and making sure those match to the renewal rates. 
So we have a three triangle prong approach to underwriting. And the reason that we do that is because we're very strict in making sure that we understand who's in the pool and that's how we keep it safe. So we do that from the um, benefit side and then to look on everything else, we're underwriting the group on the risk side. So we need an understanding of their workers' comp policy. Obviously, if they're with a PEO right now, they won't necessarily have a workers' comp policy. So there's some other documents that we'd collect. But we'd get the workers' comp, take a look at four years of loss runs to understand the risk of the organization and match that up to annualized payroll um, dollars to understand the um, employee risk. And then so we'll underwrite from the risk standpoint. And then the third piece is on the credit standpoint. So we'll look over on the um, financial underwriting. And so we will look at all three of those um, together while we're also understanding more of the, um, the HR programs that are in place right now and where we might fit in. And there's a chance that, that we don't fit in, right? And they have the resources in place to be able to, to do it as they are. And we'll deliver that back. But if there are some opportunities, then we will partner and, and show a technology demo to be able to see where exactly the technology would play into this. And then we'd be in a position to give a proposal. So depending on the bandwidth of the client, that can be anywhere from a probably two to four week process. Okay, great. So so going back to that, that whole question about, you know, size of company. So Easy Bio has um, two employees, full-time employees, and an intern, right? So we're yep. absolutely in that total source prime bucket. Some of our other companies do have more than 10 employees that are going to be covered under the program. And so for those employees, right, they get a special deal for three months if they take advantage of this opportunity to be evaluated in May. Um, but then do they, are they still getting AZ Bio, Bio Business Solutions special pricing after the three months? Yeah, I'll jump, yeah. I'll jump in on that. So we, when we look at the group, they'll absolutely get special discounts, special pricing because of the partnership with Bio and AZ Bio. But just by going through that evaluation, we can lock in the three month um, administrative fee being waived. And so the way that we bill is there's, of course, you know, workers' comp and medical, which is, you know, the medical is a pass-through cost. But the administrative fee, the cost of our HR support, the employee assistance program, the technology that Aaron had mentioned, you know, that administrative fee covers all of that. So to be able to waive that for three months is really exciting, and it's a really big benefit. Now, I know that can feel like, okay, well, you know, I may not make a change right in May. I may not be ready to do that. Or I may look at it and say like, hey, this might feel a little bit better down the road. What we're asking is for that opportunity to take you through a process because once Aaron takes you through the process, you get the benchmark report, you get that data that we mentioned at the beginning is so vital for every organization. What we find time and time again is that our, our clients and prospective clients tell us, it's like, my goodness, I learned so much during the sales process. Um, and so just by going through that, if it works out and we decide to move forward, we can waive those those three months. But if not, I, I assure you that Aaron will find a way to make sure that we get the best pricing in the hands of every AZ Bio member. So Aaron, here's a question for you. Um, so let's say that I'm an employer and I do have provide health care health insurance for my people and we went through that entire process and we just trained everybody and my next renewal you know is going to be January 1st could I go on the program and but delay my health care rollout till January so I don't disrupt my employees screw up their um, co-pays you know all of those things very good question. Um, a question that we get quite often. Um, so one of the really cool things, a um, few cool things about the, the health insurance program in the United States, right? So the any money that is spent by a person throughout the year in terms of co-pays, deductibles, will always follow that person. So it's not following the company. 
So what I mean by saying that is, say it made sense and AZ Bio wanted to switch over in July, but you, Joan, have already spent $5,000 towards your deductible. And it's like, well, I don't want to lose that, right? So you come on board and cancel the health insurance that you have currently and join our program in July. All of that money will get transferred over to your new um, program. So there isn't, in terms of that, there isn't a disruption there. Now, there can be a time that you're switching carriers and you're switching plans. Um, in my experience that we've had, those conversations with the employees are normally pretty easy because the disruption involves better health insurance at less of a cost and they're not losing out on money spent. So it's, it's kind of a win-win-win that they're like, hey, we're, I'm gonna get something better and I'm gonna pay less. I don't wanna wait until January, let's, let's do this now. Well, and that's a big question because I know, um, you know, I, I've talked to to talent that we've attracted to our companies, and you know, they've they've had that experience, right, where they got hit with double deductibles, um, moving yeah. from employer to employer or from carrier to carrier. Yeah, and that's where I, you know, go back and talk about like the concierge value and the red carpet value of Total Source. If you're trying to do this kind of stuff in the open market as, you know, a band of one and switching from carriers and you're trying to call UHC and be like, hey, I'm Aaron McCauley. I just you've worked at this other company. I spent five grand now working at this other company. I need some help. It's like, somebody's probably going to hang up on you. They're going to be like, I, I don't know who you are. Like, you're, you're just a number at this point. But when you're looking at us in terms of PEO, we're Aetna and United Healthcare's largest client. You know what I mean? So in terms of those carrier relations and like the top of our company talking with the top of those companies, it's pretty quick in terms of like the spec and the size of it. So that's the big difference in terms of the employee experience is you have, you're paying us to handle that BS for all of the staff and make sure that it's done properly. Great, thank you. So we are yeah. at the 10 minute mark as we're just starting to wrap things up. So what I'd like to do is um, kind of get um, a, a couple of closing thoughts from our speakers and we'll go um, Pete first and then Leah and then Aaron and then I'll take us home. So Pete, closing thoughts. Yeah, thank you very much, and Joan. Really appreciate the opportunity to have a discussion with your members today. Uh, we're here to support them. If you folks have any questions, there's a couple different ways. I'm going to give you one resource, and AEP will also. You can go to bio.org, so bio.org forward slash save, S-A-V-E. You'll see the various programs, including ADP. Click on it. It'll have it. I'm interested. You can click that. And then it comes to us and we're happy to follow up. So that's one way. And then I'll turn it over to uh, Aaron and Leah as well. Again, uh, this is something that we believe is uh, certainly a value and looking forward to helping. I mean, um, some programs have more impact than others. Healthcare, payroll, that's a pretty big impact. That's the two things you really don't want to mess with with people's lives is how they get paid and, and their health. So we believe this is a program that will bring significant value and at, at a organization ADP that's well-known brand cache in the marketplace. So we're excited about it. With that, let me turn it over to uh, Leah and Aaron. Yeah, we are ecstatic for this partnership. Like I said in the beginning, the members on the phone are on, on Zoom today are the ones who are changing the world, right? So we want to make all those things that Pete mentioned easy, the payroll, the benefits, the, the things that keep your employees in the seat. We want to make that easy for you. You guys are in such great hands with Aaron as your local representative. And as you start to go through these evaluations, you start to get your hands on what ADP can offer. Um, I know, especially once you take a look at the benchmark data and you see how you stack up against competitors in your region and across the country in terms of benefits and risk. Um, it, it's really eye-opening. And it's not only just having that data at your fingertips, it's now having some advice and a way forward and how to make that um, make a really big impact on your employees. So static for this partnership, another way that you can access and submit your information is to go to www.adp backslash bio. 
um, adp.com backslash bio. And we have that information in the PDF that I know will be um, posted on the website. Um, but feel free to reach out to Erin directly, Pete directly. We'll make sure we get you in the right place and we get you the best pricing possible. Yeah, thanks for that, Lee and Peter. Um, hey guys, I'm just really honored to be a part of this. Um, one of my favorite parts of the job is to meet with really cool companies, like I said, and and really tap into the genius of these CEOs and entrepreneurs and just like hear what they are doing. Um, and the fact that I can do this now in the, the bio space is, is really cool to me because it's an opportunity that I haven't had. And I was able to attend the mixer on Thursday and get a tour of the incubator. And my job was just on the floor, understanding what cool companies are making a difference in my community that I've grown up in for my entire life. And the fact that you guys are all extending people's lives and, and doing such a good thing for mankind in itself is something I really want to be a part of. So I look forward to the opportunity to meet you all in person and, and talk more about your, your cool company. Awesome. Thank you so much. And um, Aaron, you're going to be getting spammed from me every Monday morning, telling you all about the I, amazing things they're doing. And equally yeah. important, where you can go and get connected with them. So, um, again, I want to thank our AZ Bio members for joining us this morning, those of you that tune in later online, um, and especially you know, our friends from ADP, Aaron and Leah, for making time to explain all of this for us this morning, and our newest Arizona resident, Pete Fry, who is going to be working with us um, to bring great programs like this to all of our members and helping them understand um, how they can save more, how they can create more, and equally important, um, how they can grow faster. So um, as we all work together, thank you for joining us today. Um, don't forget, AZ Bio Peers is available always under the resource tab. And if you need help, give Natalie or I a call. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.